This story is called Alma and How She Got Her Name. It's by Juana Martinez Neal. And um, it, if you have friends who are um, who ha are from a culture that's a Spanish culture, Spain, Mexico, um, Puerto Rico, um, Guatemala, any of this, the, those Spanish countries, you might notice that your friend, if you ask, because maybe they only use their their first name, middle name, last name, they actually have a very long and beautiful name, and they're named after different members of their family who have um, like a very strong connection or are very important, and so they have lots of names. So this is Alma, and that would be her first name, but there are more. This has a connection to the Sulwe story, if you listen to that one about um, Alma's a little bit embarrassed of her long name until she finds out what it all means and she learns to appreciate it. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela had a long name. Too long, if you ask her. My name is too long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you the story of your name and then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books and poetry, jasmine flowers, and of course, me. She was the one who taught me how to read. He's showing her photograph. And there, Sophia. So that would be her grandmother and his look. I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a big family like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the pl plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. My grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. Pura was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and the only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela. That's my name and it fits me just right. I am Alma. And I have a story to tell. So she is Alma. And here it says, mi historia, it means my story, my history. Okay. 
So in the back, there's a note from the, um, the author illustrator, Juana Martinez Neal, and she says, my name is Juana Carlota Martinez Pizarro. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose the name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle, Carlos. My father was a man of decision, so when it came time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Carlota on the birth certificate. He was convinced that Juana Carlota was a mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old-fashioned, harsh, ugly, and way too Spanish name in all of Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I later know later on, after I moved to the United States, that it would feel unique and remind me every day of where I come from. What is the story of your name? What story would you like to tell? If you've never asked your uh, parents or your grandparents where your name comes from, that might be an interesting thing to ask. You might be named after someone that you don't know about, or maybe there was a favorite um, movie that your parents like to watch and that's how they picked your name, or maybe a famous sports hero or something and that's where they got your name. So you should ask. It's interesting to find out where things like that come from.